Okay, this is an article that came out last week, and I thought it was a very good scathing article. It told lots of truths in it. People need to remember this about this woman. It is ridiculous for this one to be admired in any way, shape, or form, or to hold the position that she currently holds. We still do not have her testimony or a decent explanation from anybody at all concerning the ambassador's murder and the other Americans with him in Benghazi. So let's read through Miss West's article. Kudos to her. The Gallup tells that Hillary more than any other world woman in the world again is well admired at the top of the chart of admiration the seventeenth time that the Gallup has found Clinton to be the most admired woman why in the crap is that in the last twenty years only Eleanor Roosevelt comes even close Mother Teresa two times in the nineties and Laura Bush you know kept her from getting it straight every year she goes on to say that uh, doing this and admiring her people have lost their mind or its memory or both you've heard me be harsh about her well she's harsh on her too and she needs to be because it's true does the phrase congenital liar tickle any bells? I know of I know such non admirable sentiments are thought to be the worst of taste, if not banishable offenses, still as conjured by the late New York Times columnist William Sapphire in ninety six. The phrase described the first lady at that time for her shameless prevarications. Do you remember back then the bribery? of the cattle futures. Remember how she made a small investment that returned many, 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 many times profit her way. Defrauding taxpayers, Whitewater. Remember that one? Obstructing justice. And this is, that was really good or rather finding her Rose Law Firm billing records which had been under subpoena for two years so for two years 730 days they couldn't find them well days after the statute of limitations ran out coincidentally wow they found out. They found him. Wow. Would you believe it? Not until the statute of limitations for prosecution had ran out did they cough him up and say, whoops, oh, I found him. Yeah, they were on the cabinet shelf all along for the last two years or whatever. <clears throat> this is among other corrupt behaviors that have suppressed from the people about billery. And then we go into statements. Remember this one? This is her speaking. I remember landing under sniper fire. This is when she was campaigning on the campaign trail in 2008 describing her 96 trip to Bosnia. Remember that? There's supposed to be some type of greeting ceremony at the airport, but instead we just ran with our heads down. And then she chuckled. Ha, 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 to get into the vehicles to get to our base. A vivid but debunkable whopper as the videotape footage by CBS of the event proved. In reality, Clinton was accompanied by Chelsea, her daughter, and made her way into Bosnia 
through a warm throng marked by smiling faces and a kiss from a local girl. But she sat there and lied back then. On a more nationally significant level, Clinton recently supported Obama's big lie that a movie trailer, Innocence of Muslims, resulted, with her word, in the September attack on the U.S. compound in Benghazi, Libya, a concerted falsehood for which neither Clinton nor Obama nor former director of the CIA, David Petraeus, had yet answered the Three Stooges. Even several days after intelligence agencies determined a planned assault, not a video-driven protest, Clinton went so far as to promise a grieving Charles Woods, the daddy of one of the slain seals, Tyrone Woods, that we, we, were going to have the video maker arrested and prosecuted because it was that dang video that caused all this stuff, which we know was yet another lie. Well, the man was arrested, and the man did get prosecuted and sent to jail. But uh, not for making the old video, because they couldn't cop off on him that he caused all that stuff through the video. I believe he violated a probation by using an alias name. So he's actually in jail, uh, convicted of a probation violation, I believe. So, we got a ways to go before they try to do it again but hey all systems are probably go but this one here will probably be their top dog to replace the king Obama and yes there has been talk of uh, wow doing away with term limits so that you could have uh, you know, the perennial reign of the king, eh? I don't think that'll happen, but there is some idiot that is uh, suggesting that. And then you could have America like, ooh, you could have America like jolly old England. You know, like they've had the queen for decades and decades and decades, just perennial rapage of the entire system. You know, those poor people over there, they just can't get rid of the royals. Some of them like that. Don't understand why. You need to see through the facade of the lies, the deceit, the corruption. See what these people really are. They are the epitome of evil. When they can lie to your face, like her and her husband did back in the 90s, like the current president does every time he opens his mouth on a campaign trail and then she gets her hubby to go out there and stump for him they don't even like each other him and Obama but hey I'm a team player right well it worked either that or the election was fixed because he's in again we're suffering again So if a lot of you like her, you need to remember all these lies that she perpetrated and see through them and realize that every, virtually every single smooth talking word that flows out of her ancient lips is a lie designed basically to pull the wool over you to think things that are not. Now, it's, it's, it's a really bad thought that this one here, yep, or Biden, come on, could end up being the president next time around. Biden? You gotta be kidding me. Biden. You know, Biden got in the limelight because he became vice president. But did we really know that Joe Biden was such an idiot for all those years? I didn't. I mean, 
he didn't ever really see the, the Senate work and everything and hear too much. You know, you could watch a little bit of, uh, of the stuff on TV every now and then when they were debating bills and fighting and filibustering and stuff like that. But, jeez, this guy is totally... I don't know where his brain's at. I mean, how many gaffes has the guy had? You know? Come on. And what's the, what's the other side going to put out? You know, it, it looked like it was, a, it basically looks like it was a plan to do this this time around. I mean, the best they had was Romney. Romney? The guy that already ran before, you know, and couldn't win? Couldn't even get a nomination? Romney? But what are they going to do next time? I mean, who's... Who's supposed to be the, the cleanup hitter next time? It's going to hit the home run. I don't see anyone. No. By the time that gets around here, folks, I'm afraid, well, something wicked this way cometh will have arrived by then. Until then, I just got a feeling it's going to be a bumpy, 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 bumpy road. So we all have to do the best that we can. It's all that we can do. We're not even talking about the other side of the world. This is just in our little old patch of land over here, the USA. You know, they've got things going on over in the Middle East. Hey, how about Egypt, you know? Not too good over there. How you doing over there, Morsi? Or you got run out of your presidential dwelling. Yep, got some corruption over there. They don't like you any more than Mubarak. They don't want you. But hey, Muslim Brotherhood's gonna keep you in power, ain't they? How about that Syria? He's still not gone. He's not gonna go. And if you find the articles, yes, you can verify that Da, da, da. Al Qaeda is helping the rebels. And who's the United States support? The rebels. So the United States supports the rebels who have Al Qaeda mixed in with them. Huh, interesting, huh? That we fight against Al Qaeda in a whole different country, but then over here in this country, we support Al-Qaeda because they're helping the rebels. I told you it was all mixed up and messed up. I told you all them people wasn't just regular, you know, Syrians that all agree other had an uprising. You've got Al-Qaeda. You've got mercenaries from God knows which Middle East countries mixed in there. It's, it's just a huge proxy war. You know? We're, we're back in one side, Russia and China's back in one side, we're in the shadows, you know, trying to manipulate things so that they have a, you know, an outcome that one side or the other wants. It's not what it seems. Assad's a bad guy, yeah, but like I told you before, taking these bad guys out, it can get worse than it was. So, I stick by what I said. I don't think there's a peaceful settlement coming. I don't believe that he's going to give it up. And I believe that his only way out is, uh, you know, the Gaddafi way. Or the Saddam way. You know, they're going to have to arrest him and try and kill him. Or jail him. Or Obama will give the old word and send in the old drone and shoot him. Till then, stay tuned for Chapter X. So, problems everywhere. Not getting any better. God help us all. I pray for all of us every night. God bless each and every one of you. Bring good things to you and protect all of you. I'll talk to you soon.